This is the most beautiful car I've ever seen. I remember how excited I was when you guys were in little eggs just like this. Oh, these eggs are so cute. Well, the eggs are interesting, but not that cute. <laughs> I know what you mean, Tiny, but I'm pretty sure these moms and dads don't agree. Who's the cutest egg? You are! <laughs> You're the cutest egg. Hmm. I see a Velociraptor, Mom, and a Triceratops. And a Myasaur, and a Troodon. And they must be dads. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, no. What am I going to do? When's it going to happen? Calm <laughs> down, Daddy. They'll hatch when they hatch. Hatch? Did someone say hatch? Oh, this really is the most charming place I've ever been. Yes, it's the perfect place for the eggs to travel safely. Especially with all those pesky aftershocks. You remember what those are, right? I remember. They're little quakes after a bigger earthquake. Well, let's hope they're over. Oh, I think I'll go back to work. There's so many moms to make food for today. Mr. Conductor, have you ever seen Carithosaurus eggs? Oh, sure. Working on the dinosaur train, I've seen all kinds of eggs. What's the biggest dinosaur egg you've ever seen? Do all dinosaur species eggs look different? Do moms watch their eggs the whole time before they hatch? Oh, and how do moms know when their eggs are gonna hatch? Very good questions, kids. Stupendous questions. Uh, that means fantastic. So let's see if I can get you some fantastic answers. <laughs> Dinosaur eggs, eggs of all different creatures, really, come in different sizes. Some eggs can get kind of big. Like a Giganotosaurus egg. I bet that's the size of a dinosaur train car. Good hypothesis, buddy, but actually not the case. Even the biggest dinosaur eggs are about the size of a dino ball gourd. Now, you asked about the mom. Ahem. Sorry to interrupt, but I think you'll get the best answers to those questions from some moms. It's true. There's nothing moms know more about than being moms. Oh, doesn't it seem like yesterday when the kids were all eggs? <sighs> Four little eggs in our family nest, three pteranodons and one T-Rex. Did my egg look the same as Tiny and Shiny and Dawn's? Not quite the same. Look, it's a little bigger and a different color. And I definitely knew when you and your brother and sisters would be hatching, even before it happened. I could just feel it. I had the same feeling with my eggs, too. All the moms in my herd knew when it was hatching time. This is Pteranodon. What a surprise to see you. Hi, Valerie. Uh, come to the nest quick. One of my mom's eggs is about to hatch. An egg is about to hatch. Follow me, everybody! Whoa! Whoa! Velma, so good to see you. Congratulations. Hello! Oh, so nice of you to visit our nest on the big day. And here are some new bracelets I made. Why don't you take them? <gasps> really? But they're so beautiful. Don't you want them for yourself? Oh, Velociraptors have lots of feathers, Shiny. They can be a souvenir of your world tour. Wow! wow. Thanks, Valerie! Is that your doll, Tiny? It looks a little like you. I guess it does. It's my Tiny doll. I brought it along on our trip. It's really important to her. Tiny doesn't like to sleep without it. Yeah, she's had it forever. <gasps> oh, it's time! Gather round, kids. It's hatching! It's hatching! Oh. Oh. Shiny, look! Eggs! Uh -huh. It's little babies hatching! <laughs> Hello! What kind of babies are you? We're Archelons! Sea turtles! Wow! It's great to meet you. I'm Shiny, and this is my sister, Tiny. We have so many questions for you. Sorry, we're in a hurry. We need to get to the water quick before any predators can get us. Okay, but wait. Where's your mom? We don't know. We just need to get into the sea. Bye! What? They don't even know where their mom is? Mom! What is it, kids? We just saw some babies hatch on the shore. They were archelons. Oh, sea turtles. Where are they? They've already crawled into the sea and swam away. Well, that's what sea turtles do after they hatch. They get into the water as quick as they can. But we asked them where their mom was, and... and... They, they didn't, didn't even know! 
kids, I can see that you're upset about the Archelon babies, but different species behave differently. Right. Some don't need their parents around when they hatch. And others get a lot of care from their parents from the very start. I was right there when you were hatched. I can't imagine it any other way. We're so glad you're here. <laughs> we Pteranodons are kind of special. I wonder how those eggs felt about the aftershock. Do you think they liked it as much as I did? What do you think the little dinosaurs and the eggs are doing? Do you think they're asleep? But how did the babies breathe in there? I have a hypothesis. The eggshells must be thin enough for the babies inside to breathe. But they still must be really strong, because none of them cracked during the aftershock. Well, you're both right. The eggshells are thin enough for the babies inside to breathe, but they're also really strong. If you look closely, you can see lots of tiny holes in the shells. Take a gander through my super magnifying glass. Those teeny holes are called pores. I don't remember being in an egg, but I like breathing. <sighs> Hello? You guys breathing in there? <gasps> Is it another aftershock? No, Shiny. It's the eggs. <laughs> but he's right. They're hatching. Oh, <laughs> are cracking right on time. Now all of the eggs are cracking. This is amazing. Oh, I'm so nervous, so excited, so... Ah. <laughs> Been there, pal. Been there. Your nest is amazing. Did you build it yourself? Corey and I did. We dug the nest and put some plants and leaves over the eggs. It keeps them warm. Look. Oh, so sweet. Adorable. I sit with my eggs to make sure they're warm and safe. And to be here when they hatch, of course. But you don't sit on your eggs because you don't want to smush them, right? Too much posterior pressure. <laughs> You're right, Tiny. I think I may be just a little too big to sit on these eggs. Oh, Corrine, here's a little something in honor of the big day. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> Goodness, I think my eggs are hatching. Look, they're moving. That means the babies must be moving inside. You're right, buddy. It's time. Look, a crack. They're hatching, they're hatching. Aww. Mama, mama. <laughs> no, babies, we're not your mama. We're your friends. I'm Buddy, and this is my sister, Tiny. That's your mama. That's right, little ones. I'm your mommy, and I love you with all my heart. And I'm your sister. I'm Cory. <coughs> Whoa, they just hatched, and they already can hoot. <coughs> Look, they're doing the I just hatched and hooted baby dance. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Olivia Oviraptor, and these are my eggs. Hi. <gasps> but if they're your eggs, why were they all over the beach? It was the waves. They rolled over my nest and scattered my eggs all over the beach. That's terrible. Yes, but what's worse was that some creature stole them and gathered them in their own nest. No, who would do that? Um, Dawn? We would. Oh. But we weren't stealing the eggs either. We were just keeping them safe until we found out who they really belonged to. You were? <gasps> Oh, thank you. That's so kind. But I need all my eggs to be together. Would you kids help me bring them to join my others in the nest I made back there? Sure. sure. There you are, my sweeties. Now you're all warm and safe. Olivia, I'm detecting Dawn. How do we know the eggs are really yours? <gasps> That's how. You're the mom. <laughs> Sorry, Mrs. Overraptor. That's okay, Don. I'm glad that all of you took such an interest in keeping my eggs so safe. Aww. We're glad the eggs have such a great mom. Thank you. We Overraptors pride ourselves in taking care to protect our eggs. And we use our feathers to insulate. Oh, that means warm. Our hatchlings. <gasps> Look at those teeny feathers. You know, Tiny, 
It'd be fun to compare the baby's features to their parents. Yeah, let's do it. Compare and contrast, kids. Have fun. Remember, dinosaur newborns often look different from their parents with bigger eyes and rounder faces. Hmm, look at the Triceratops baby. The little guy looks like he'll sprout three horns just like his mom and dad. But he doesn't have horns yet, just little nubs. Hi, baby Troodon. You look just like your mom and dad. I didn't even have a teeny tiny toe claw. Look at the Myasaur baby's little fingers. I even see little Myasaur teeth. Look at the baby Velociraptor and his feathers. One day, he'll have feathers like his mom. Oh, yes! The older babies get, the more they look like their species. But all of them start from little eggs. Watch more on your local PBS station and the PBS Kids video app.